In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about spectacles. <laughs> so I've had glasses which I wear on my laptop for as long as I can remember since I was a kid. But I've not had an eye test since I was about 14, something like that. It's a bit ridiculous. I definitely don't recommend you do that. So I went to the opticians recently and got a new prescription. And then what I found is that my, my glasses were absolutely way off. So I've got a new couple of pairs of glasses and it sounds stupid, but when I put them on, it's like turning everything up into HD. I can see all like leaves on everything. I can see everything so much more quick, clearly. I've got a pair for in the car and it's so much easier when I'm driving. I can see everything so much more clearly. So it's long distance that I struggle to see at. And fine short, long distance is where it starts to get a little bit blurry. So they're amazing. So I've kind of realized, right, if I've got glasses for day to day, I need to get some glasses for riding as well. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how I chose my glasses for on the bike, what company I got from them from, how I chose them, the ins and outs of glasses specifically for mountain biking. So I've done quite a bit of research on this topic now just because I was researching it for myself. So I thought I would share it with you. So if you wear glasses yourself, you can dive into this video and I hope it's useful to you. So first of all, I want to talk about why you don't just want to wear a normal pair of glasses like these while you're riding because you can go into an opticians and you'll see some nike branded ones some adidas ride um, branded ones that aren't exercise specific that are normal branded glasses so you don't want to wear those whilst you ride and there's a few reasons for that so first of all the glass on the front in biking specific glasses is shatterproof so what that means is if you come flying off the trail and you hit a rock with your glasses something like these are more likely to shatter into sharp shards and now you can understand why you don't want that to happen because you don't want to end up blind you don't want to end up it going in your eye so that's the first thing the glad they're actually made out of plastic i presume i'm no expert in that but they're made out of a material which doesn't shatter um, and doesn't come into sharp spikes for you so that's the first thing another thing why you don't want to just wear your normal glasses on the trail is that the coverage is nowhere near as good so if you look at my normal glasses there there's a big gap here where any kind of stones flicking up could easily get to me from any direction now i'm going to talk about mine in more detail but if i just show you my oculus as an example there's much more protection there i'm hitting the bottom of the lens they're much larger on my face so they cover a lot more and they go a lot wider. So that means that branches and stones flicking up are way more likely to hit the glasses rather than hit my eyes. So that is a really, really big thing. The other things as well. So this doesn't matter because the lens I've gone for at the moment is a clear lens. But what you can get in glasses like Oakley's and other brands is you can get prescription lenses that are tinted as well. So you can get darker ones for kind of um, trails. You can get certain sorts of tints. Now, if you just get a normal set of glasses, you've got normal glasses or nothing at all. In sports glasses, you've got more options. Um, like the trail lens, for example, from Oakley will make the trail pop out at you that bit more and it will like make, sh make rocks more obvious, make twigs and roots more obvious. So you can't get those sorts of lenses lenses with your normal riding glasses and um, and there's two more things as well so they don't stay on very well so if i you've probably seen me already actually i keep pushing my glasses up if i move my head around they move around and wobble around on your head they don't stay put obviously that's not ideal for mountain biking just there they're sliding down my nose a little bit um, whereas a decent pair of riding glasses will stay absolutely perfectly on your head. So I can thrash my head around any different way and they are going nowhere. They are like perfectly in position. I might have to readjust them slightly, but it means that when you do a descent or whatever, you don't have to touch those glasses. They're not coming anywhere, like going anywhere. The only time that they have fallen off in the past is if I've been in a particularly hard crash where I've tumbled and then they might've got caught off something and flown off. But other than that, they stay firmly put on your head um, normal glasses will be lost in a bush somewhere like on the first descent and um, or are more likely to anyway so that's another reason to go with something that's properly suited to your head um, and then the other thing as well they've got ventilation so if you look at these glasses there's no ventilation around the lenses at all whereas a pair of riding glasses you can probably see on these you've got ventilation on the bottom and on the tops 
Now what that does is as you're sweating and you're getting condensation on the glasses, as long as you've got a little bit of speed, air will pass through the glasses and almost clean the back of them and it stops them from fogging up. So unless it's super, super um, misty day or a wet day or if it's raining for obvious reasons, these don't mist up, whereas a normal pair of glasses will mist up much more easily and they won't clear as easily as well. So they're kind of the reasons that you want to go for a pair of actual specific riding glasses over your normal glasses that you wear in the house so like i said a lot of research about this i made myself a little bit of an expert on it um, and i promise you it's worth it now in the next part of the video i'm going to talk to you about why i chose this specific lenses how i got them and the process around it in general really so first of all, before I start chatting about actually where I got these glasses from, I want to share with you the benefits I've found. So I went on my first ride in these and the difference was huge. And I'll tell you the main benefit that I found. So we all know we have to look ahead down the trail. But when I was stood on the trail, I kept flicking between taking my glasses off and putting them on, taking them off, putting them on. And I realized that kind of the ideal distance to be looking down the trail when I didn't have my glasses on was actually a little bit blurry and a little bit uncomfortable. And what that naturally meant was that I would naturally focus on things that were closer to me rather than further out now wearing the glasses means that i can naturally see further down the trail and it's relaxing for my eyes as well i can see ahead and i can actually see what i'm looking at without straining my eyes to see so i found without any extra effort i was keeping my head up and keeping my eyes looking further forward and of course that means you can spot what's ahead of you down the trail so I'm absolutely a convert to wearing prescription lenses on the trail. I've got no intention of going back now. I've worn them once, like they're amazing. So they're quite expensive to get, but they're well, well worth it. So that brings me on to how I actually got my lenses. So I did a bit of research online and I looked for all the best companies. And one that kept coming up was a company called Extreme Eyewear. So they were kind enough to send me these lenses for free. So I've got them completely free of charge. And um, I think they should be about 200 pounds, something like that for the lenses, which it's fairly expensive. I think normal Oakley lenses without the glasses are about £100 on the Oakley website. So these will be double that for your prescription. I can honestly say that if no companies were willing to send me the glasses out for free or if a decent company weren't, weren't willing to send me out the lenses, I would have been buying a pair. But... I may as well get them for free if I can. Um, I'm really grateful for them obviously sending them out and I can still recommend them to you. I've made sure in the past with MTB Fitness. I've never done any kind of partnerships or any deals with companies that I don't believe in. And these have been awesome. So the way that it works is that you log onto the website at extremeeyewear.co.uk put in your prescription details on there and order the lenses that you want. They have them to fit all sorts of different glasses. So I already had my Oakley Jawbreakers um, already with different lenses in. So you can just order the lens. You put your prescription in and then they send you a little pair of cardboard glasses and you have to take a photo of yourself in those. And they have different lines which you use to measure your face. And then they know, or Oakley know, where to actually put your lenses on the glasses. So it's really clever. Then it was a couple of weeks for them to make them they got shipped to my door in a protective casing and a box so they don't get damaged with an eye cleaner and then i just shoved them in and bob's your uncle so you're probably talking a two and a half three week process something like that uh, and for these from that company for oakley's it was about 200 pounds but if you consider that I think these glasses were probably 70 or 80 pounds, something like that. And that's on the lower end of um, cost for glasses, you know, for you to get. But these will be not very good on the trail. And to be honest, I might end up hurting myself if I did wear them. So it's well worth it to A, be able to see where you're going on the trail, but then B, to have the proper protection as well to wear the actual right glasses. Like, yes, it is quite expensive. However, can you really put a cost on your eyesight and on protecting your face? Like, I think it's imperative. So for me, I've always been a fan of Oakley glasses. I think they're really comfortable. I love these jawbreakers just because they're so big and so protective, but you can have a look at different ones. Um, so yeah, that is my sum up of glasses and i hope it's entertained you and educated you a little bit so you can head to extremeeyewear.co.uk i don't get any more kickback for you and um, i've not actually agreed to do this video either so when i got the glasses i agreed to do a facebook post an instagram post uh, and send an email out to my email list just kind of sharing the details if you like this youtube video i'm doing as an extra just because i really think the glasses are awesome and the service has been good so they deserve a little bit of a shout out so extremeeyewear.co.uk Highly recommend getting a pair of glasses if you wear them. 
the difference, I promise you, is well worth it on the trails. You'll love it. So you can hit the description and the link and if you want to go to them. I don't get any commission or anything. It's up to you whether you buy some. It doesn't affect me personally. Um, but I can highly recommend that you do. I think you'll be glad that you did. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time for another MTV Fitness video.